it's time for cake. C A K E, but not the kind you eat. It's the kind you create. I was sent this little envelope with the things that I have to use to create a tag. The rules have changed a little bit. You have to use everything in this little kit and you can't add anything to this little project, which will be really hard for me, but I'm going to give it a go. Let's see what I have to work with have this piece. We have a little dangle, this piece. We have a vellum envelope with this piece of ephemera. Such cool writing. We have a piece of ribbon. Two hearts. We have this plain piece and then this decorative piece. Once I cut and start, this is all I have. It's not from my stash. So once I start, I'm, this is what I got. That part is a little scary. So let me see. I'm going to, I want this as the top part of the tag. And I want these two to be peeking out of it. I want kind of like a hidden take. Um, so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just marking it so that I don't go past. these lines when I cut into it. Okay, here goes. Whew. Do I have it going the way I want? Here we go. So I'm just going to kind of get my hole started. And then from there... Kind of rip rip it because I want this to fold back like this. But I gotta be careful not to go past those those lines, or then it will be too big. So I keep checking to see where I'm at. Then I want to sew this down and I'll be right back. So far, so good. Whew. So I just did a straight stitch, just a free flow kind of circle. And that's what it looks like on the back, which we won't, we won't be seeing. But I'll bring that thread through. That's the first part. Now, I want to maybe I don't need that down. Oh well. <laughs> want 
this to come back. As straight as possible. Let's use the foam folder to give that a really good crease. Or smushity, smushity. What I need to do is I need to turn this into a tag. Maybe bigger. So this is just an old Timmy's card that I've cut all four corners at different angles to help when I go to make a tag. Let's think about this for a second. So I want to glue. I just want to put a little glue there, but not all the way because that could be a little tuck spot. And it's going to be hidden there. So I'm now going to sew. Let me think about this. Yep, I'm going to I'm going to sew. I am going to sew all the way around, but I'm going to sew this first, then close that up and then sew the rest. I have sewn all around it and then making it into a hidden spot Ooh, and it just it just fits in there Whew. I'm gonna ink around the edges now oh did I do the back no this must be a love letter. I used to get love letters from my husband when we were in a long distance relationship. So I'm not doing too much with this. I can't, I can't add anything. Don't lose, don't lose anything. something like that oh yes we have with a piece of this ribbon mm -hmm. so that could go like like that maybe now remember, it's got to fit in here, so think this through. Maybe I could put that here. Can't see it though, can you? Nope, we got to use it. I got this too, but this I don't. I don't really want to do anything with it because it's beautiful on its own. have to say this is very hard because I want to add things but that could go right there which side do I want the lace that and then we'll put and the hearts there. Oh, I want to add some, <laughs> some book page. And 
and then put more glue. Like that, but I'm gonna take this and turn it around. So it looks like that, but I think what I want to do is I want to sew this, like, like sew around and just make it its own element. That's what I'm going to do. So this is what it looks like. It's a piece unto itself. So it is. I don't want anything else to go in there, so it's sewed, sewed shut, and it's going to hopefully go in to here. Yep, yep. Oof, that's a tight fit. Now, if I was allowed to add my own stuff to it, I would put a little cluster down here in this corner but I'm not allowed to add anything and we have to follow the challenge right <clears throat> now for me this ribbon is, is too big now, it says you have to use all the pieces, but it doesn't say that you have to use, like, every single piece. So this is hard to get out. I'm thinking I'd like to have a little pull. So if I... Ooh, maybe... Oh, look at that. That's cool. Okay, I'll do that. And let's put it on this end. I guess it doesn't really... Yeah, because... I... Wait, I want that to be on the outside. Wait. <laughs> Well, I like that. That's not what I was going for. I, li I like it, though. What if it was this way? Is that nice, too? No, I, for some reason, I liked it this way. As Julie would say, quit your waffling, woman. <laughs> I like that. But that still doesn't give me my, ta my tab. So I can pull it out. So what if I cut another piece? Let's see, cut here. And cut here. make that so it goes like that all right let me let me sew this on because i like that i really like that Okay, so I sewed the tab, but I want to trim it. And hopefully this will work. <laughs> and you might wonder, why are you sealing the envelope? And to that I say 
it's a private love letter. <laughs> so, there, I put good, another chunk of the ri ribbon lace there so it can easily be pulled out. So their secret love letter fits in here quite perfectly, I must say. There. Whoops, get back in there. See that tab makes it come out very nice. We just gotta lay the lace down. And I might, what I might do is go back and glue the lace down. Bring it up at the top a little bit so that that goes, lays down there a little bit better. And we got the key there. Might change that around a bit, so. Because the key's hidden behind there. This needs to lay flat. So it would need a jump ring. And then I've got this cute little punch. I'm going to... punch that and then take one of these extra pieces of lace. Let's see what can, what can we do like that like that maybe and I'll staple staple it. Over, put it here. That might be a little bit better. I like that. I'm trying to get it closer down here, but that works there. Oh my goodness, I did it! I just have a couple of little pieces left. that and there's that little tiny tuck spot there too that can be can put another little love letter in there or there like that well I think I think I've I've done it. I just had these little pieces left. And if I could add some things, I might put that there, some book page behind it and just create a little cluster. Or now that that's down there, maybe here. Hmm. What if I just do that now and just staple it? There we go. All right. So there is my cake. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this piece. And then the secret letter is tucked safely away in there. And if I wanted to, the paper clip, instead of sealing it shut, I could just put it there so I could still pull out the beautiful love letter that is safe from prying eyes. Have a great day, everybody.